Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today I have a DIY. We haven't done DIY in a long time. It's just a real simple one and actually I'm feeling a little insecure about how it looks so I want to know in the comments what you think I should do, if I should leave it, if I should change it. I bought a frame TV and I got it, uh, I got a good price on it. I bought it on Prime Day on Amazon and got, uh, I think I paid 800 for it, which is a pretty good deal. I bought the 43 inch and then I knew I wanted it to sit over the dresser in my living room. Now, there's the price of the TV and then there's the price of the frame and there's many frames you can buy. They're like $400, $600. They're really pretty, but the whole concept is that it looks like a piece of art. So I really love that concept. I feel like TVs have finally like taken a leap to the next level in design. So if you can get your hands on a frame TV the next time you have to buy a TV, I do think it's worth it. And they have this special wall mount that makes it like flat up against the wall. So we went ahead and we we are gonna sell our, our old armoire, which was fun to get out of the living room and then behind that we couldn't even paint behind it originally so it was like still blue back there so we painted that white then put the plate onto the wall and then you just like drop the TV on it and then it just like fits right up next to the wall so I love it uh, the next part was that I wanted to figure out a frame and I was like I could DIY this for what 15 bucks like I'm not gonna spend hundreds of dollars and I wanted a really simple frame anyway this is the inspiration picture I had this is a frame I like the modeled texture of this frame from Studio McGee we ended up getting one by twos just so that's a um, medium grade wood it's nice and smooth and you want to be careful since this has to fit like a frame you want to be real careful with your measurements actually I almost felt like we were too careful so we ended up needing like 38 by 22 and my husband like got it within like a 16th of an inch and it was actually we almost couldn't get it on the frame we barely could get it on so he had to sand the inside out i would make the frame like a eighth of an inch a little bit too big actually to set it on there so once we cut the pieces that we needed then we May try to smooth everything down with this 220 grit sandpaper. That's my go-to sandpaper. And then assembled it all with a brad nailer and we used one and a half inch nails. And we just did the butt joint like this. We didn't miter it. I mean, you could, you could miter it and make it look really nice. I was okay with it looking simple. Maybe I'll regret that. But the thing in my living room is that it's sitting over a really fancy, ornate piece of furniture and it has a lot of really beautiful decorating on top of that dresser and so I don't wanna compete with it. So to get the color, I spray painted it with my favorite oil rubbed bronze Rust-Oleum spray paint. So I made it black and it does have, that paint has a little bit of like a gold fleck in it that I love. I did that knowing that I was gonna cover it in gold and I took rub and buff and took I, the some people will use like their bare hand like they'll just use their fingertip and put rub and buff on I, I feel like I can't get it off my hand after that so I don't like that you can do it with rubber glove my favorite way though I keep going back to is to use a um, old makeup brush like a blush brush and you even like want to like grab down around the bristles so you can kind of control it but um and you just kind of stipple it and dab it in so I would like squeeze a little bit of the rub and buff onto the frame and then work in like maybe like that much space if you squeeze out the rub and buff like the size of maybe a pea you can cover out like that much space of the frame and you use a little makeup brush that's my favorite way so that gives me this like aged like modeled sort of goldy look that I was going for. And then we slid that onto the frame and it's on there really tight. I could not get it flat to the wall as I figured out later that I could, we were like pushing it. I mean, it was measured, a one by two would fit all the way to the wall if you have the two inch side. And it wasn't going all the way back. And then I looked underneath and there's like a sensor 
right where we're like it's hanging down just a tiny bit underneath so we're like almost breaking the thing so oh my gosh so we decided not to try to push it all the way back The last step is actually to pick out your art. And what I love about the frame TVs is, well, there's like end, probably endless possibilities that you could do with, I mean, you can use your own photographs, you can use your own art, you know, digital artwork, but they sell a ton of it. So I bought this really beautiful sort of, yes, grayish seascape off of Etsy, I think I paid $6 for it, I'll link it for you. But any painting that you love, like it could be used bucolic, I mean, or modern or anything. I, Any type of art, digital art, you can use. So follow the directions in your manual and, you know, upload your photo. And then you get to choose, like, do you want it to have a matte on it or not? And I really like the matte look. I just feel like it looks that much more real. And then the final thing is you can adjust the lighting because the one thing I didn't like about the frame TV is that I always feel like it's lighted. So if the room's dark, you have what looks like is a TV screen in the room. Um, it doesn't look like a piece of art. So you can turn down the brightness and then get it closer to looking like a piece of art. working on this week we're moving forward on our living room I'm excited to show you everything um, in the meantime if you would like more DIYs because this is my jam but a lot of times I just talk interior design styles and do just more talking type stuff but I do like a good DIY I have a subscriber library that you can grab in the link below and it comes is password protected so I'll give you the password and you can have access to lots of like building plans and recipes and things that I've done in the past so I hope you enjoy that and if you're new here please consider hitting that subscribe button so I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. Alright, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.